Hello, this is Bonnie from Lavinia World, and I am a uh, DT. And um, today I thought I was in the process of making a card, and I was going to go ahead and show you some of the um, things that I'm working on right now. Um, in, a, in another video, I have made um, a card, and this was part of it, and I decided to deconstruct it. And um, this is going to be what I took from that deconstruction and making it into a new card. So anyway, what I want to explain to you first is what I did with this little circle, and that is I used Lavinia's stamps, and this one is called um, LAV 411, and it's Silhouette Thistle. And what I did was I stamped that with the black um, VersaFine Clear Nocturne. Um, and then what I did after I did that is I used clear embossing powder, and I went over that, all the, um, the black that I stamped. After that, I put a little bit of glue on and I used this gorgeous Fairy Hugs um, glitter that um, Lavinia World now carries. And you can see how really pretty that is and sparkly. It is called Plum. And you can find it in the Lavinia World store. And it's the Fairy Hugs. And it's, it's really gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. So that's what this was. And then the other thing is I just um, used my Copic Multiliner um, point, um, 0.5, 0.5. And I just went around the outside of the circle and I went around everything that I did when I, when I made the, um, put the glitter on. So that's gonna be my focal point of my card. Then what I did, and this was all stamped on the paper that, um, Lavinia World is carrying We Are Three digital paper, and this particular paper is called a Watercolor uh, Strokes. And actually, all this paper that I'm using for this card is Watercolor Strokes. Then what I did is I made a smaller piece. I printed off a smaller piece of the digital paper. It's like four by four. And <clears throat> what I did was I stamped this sentiment, the Lavinia stamp sentiment, and that is um, LAV 485 see a fairy make a wish and I just used the uh, VersaFine clear not or not nocturne but a morning mist and then after I did that I also um, used again the same ink the morning mist and I stamped this and that is called snow shrub LAV 501 and I just stamped it twice, made it a little bit darker by stamping it twice in the misty, and um, made it highlight a little bit more. And then for both of these, um, I just used the um, a distress tool and roughed them up just a little bit. So that was is gonna be my base. But what I wanted to show you today, which is kind of fun, is um, again, this piece of paper, again, is from the We Are Three digital paper. It's watercolor strokes. And, um, <clears throat> I am gonna be using the Tim Holtz stencil that uh, Lavinia World also carries. And this is called Bubbles. And um, I don't know if the number is in the shop, but it's THS138. And I'm also using, that's also in the shop, is Distress Texture Paste. It's Crackle. And I love this stuff. And then I'm also gonna be using the Distress Embossing Glaze that is Broken China. And this one is called uh, Cracked Pistachio. And they are perfect because they go really well with the watercolor um, strokes paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the texture paste on first. And um, as you can see, it's not uh, wide enough um, for the card base I'm using. And this card base size is five and um, at five and a half. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do. This um, crackle paste is really kind of cool because it's very much like, I wanna say a little bit thicker than maybe toothpaste. And um, you just spread it on and you don't even have to do the whole thing, but I'm keeping in mind with how this piece of paper is gonna be on it. So I don't really have to do the center, it won't be shown. So for the most part, I'm gonna concentrate around the outside. Um, some people like to um, tape this down so it doesn't move on them. Um, I'm just gonna um, hold both at the same time. And you can kind of see how you put this on. 
um, it's important to get the paste so that it's pretty much even so you can still see the stencil once you um, scrape the paste through. And this does not need to be a, a perfect. You can just have some covered and some not covered. I'm thinking of it more like, well, it's called bubbles, so I'm thinking of it more like bubbles. Now the tricky part of this is gonna be going around the outside edges and having my um, stencil be a little bit wet. But I wanna show you how awesome the stencil is when you take it off. Look at that. It's just really, really cool. This would make a great, great watercolor um, scene um, too, because it's just the bubbles. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this side right here um, because this part is already wet. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, it's really kind of important. You don't wanna wait too long to put the embossing powder on um, because you want it to stick. And the embossing powder, the glaze, is gonna go on right away. So I'm just gonna do these two sides first, and then I'm gonna add the top and the bottom. So let me quick get this. I don't want it to dry up too much. And when you, um, you can tell when it's drying too because this is crackle, like I said, um, it'll start cracking. And that's really cool. It's just such cool paste. I love it. Let me get this little bit up here. Okay. See, that is just so awesome. All right, so what I need to do next is I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and put the lid back on my texture paste a minute. And I'm gonna um, put some of this Distress Oxide in specific places. Um, I don't want it to mix. And so what you do when you wanna do it that way, you have to pinch it and put it in special places. Usually when I do this, I just, I. Um, do the whole area, but I want this to have a variety of color. And the best way to do that is to pinch it and put it on, as you can see. The other thing cool about um, digital paper is it will take on um, the, um, how do I say this? The um, paste will take on the color of digital paper. Somehow it, it absorbs into um, anything that's watercolor based or water based, it absorbs into it. So that's kind of cool too. So as you can see, I'm just pinching this on in special places. All right, so the next one I want to do is the um, Crack Pistachio. And I have a feeling this one's brand new and I haven't opened it yet. And I should have done that before I started, hold on. All right, all these are sealed with plastic, which is great. And then it also usually has a cap at the top and you need to take that off also. There we go, easy enough. So again, back to pinching. I want this, like I said, to be ran two random colors. And you could take your time, just put it on whatever way you want to. What's kind of cool, again, once I um, heat, I will end up heat embossing this, um, is that it will end up looking like, uh, I want to say a ceramic tile. All right, let's see if that worked out pretty good now. And then the thing to do is to tap it from underneath and that makes it move. If you tip it, um, it just blends the colors together. So you just wanna slightly tap it underneath like how I am wiggling my fingers back and forth. And that kind of like will make it move instead of making it all blend together. Again, I don't mind that the white is there anyway. Let's see how it looks on this side. Now 
And what I'll do is I'll wait for this to dry, like I said, and then I'll do the um, top and the bottom. I'll do the same thing that I did to the side. Okay, so that's what it looks like, kind of random. I'm gonna um, let that dry and then I'm going to um, heat emboss that and I'll show you what the heat embossing looks like. All right, so I wanted you to see what that looks like really close up also. It's like, and it's, um, it's, it's not, I wanna say it's um, glossy. It's like it's glossy. That's what it is. And, and then the cracks are also in there. It's just really, really pretty. Now you noticed it curled up a little bit. So what I do, um, you can do one of two things. You can use watercolor paper to begin with and not have to be concerned about it curling up. Um, or you can use a little bit of, um, I use a little bit of water and I just spritz it lightly and then um, so that it will curl a little bit or the paper will get a little bit softer and I'll be able to smooth it out. As you can see, that's like what I try to do. Because this is, a, um, it makes the paper thicker to add the, the paste and then to add the um, embossing glaze. But like I said, if that bothers you, you go ahead and use uh, watercolor paper and you won't have this issue. And you can still print the digital paper on watercolor paper, you just get a little bit different texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the top and the bottom and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. I have all four sides completed now, and you can see it's got the crackle and a little bit of the glaze look to it. Um, again, I um, wanted to show you that I'm gonna put this over the center, and I just went ahead and put some double-sided um, tape on the back, and I'm gonna just adhere it, and then the card will be finished. I also put double-sided tape on the um, floral part and already attached that so you didn't have to watch me do that. So, um, right. So that's going to be our card. I'm going to center this over to the side a little bit instead of in the center. And the double sided uh, tape sticks fine on top of the glaze as well. So that's the finished card. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I want to remind you to subscribe. Um, there should be a button up here at the top where you can even click on that. And then, um, we also want to remind you that um, our DT share tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And um, please stop by and see what's, what our new releases are at uh, LavinioWorld.com. We always have something fun and new for you to check out. And just a reminder, um, one of the new things is our beautiful, beautiful uh, Fairy Hugs glitter. So. Um, I enjoyed you stopping by. Any questions or anything, please leave those in the comments below. Also, all the products that I used will be linked um, below um, underneath this video. Thanks so much.